This is New York City, the LGBTQ capital of America. Whoa! A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajeem. Lower your gaze. Lower them. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajeem, brother. Wallahi, bro, I would never bring my child through this. After seeing all this, we had some major questions that needed answering. Like, why are people converting to homosexuality? I'm 19 years old. Okay. And I've been bisexual for a year now. My brother's transgender, other sister's bisexual. God is okay with doing this because we're his people. So you're saying incest isn't wrong? I don't know. And is the church conspiring to turn people gay? We keep the traditions, but, um, but also we change too. And what can be done to fix it? You gave me it? That's you. The Quran, yes, yes! In Islam, we believe everyone is deserving of da'wah. So me and the Zamzam boys wanted to investigate as to why is this corruption spreading. So we found these local street vendors participating in gay pride. Perhaps they could help us uncover the truth. Uh, how many pride parades have you come to? Is this your first one? This is the third one. Yeah. Third one. How's business? Good. This is good? Yeah. Got you. So you have a flag yourself too. Are you a part of the community as well or no? No. 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 We you support the community. Yeah. Wonderful. What is it that you support exactly? Freedom Their freedom. Their, you know what I mean? Their openness. Whatever they choose to do, that's what people choose. Got gotcha. you. So a person could choose whatever they choose to do. Yeah. Do you believe there's any limits to what a person can or can't do? That's on them. Mm. We are here asking questions about LGBT movements. What is your stance on this? I'm news neutral. Neutral. I'm neutral. neutral. What does that mean? Meaning what does that mean? Money has no okay. discrimination. Okay. I'm here for the money. I got. You. And I'm about love. Okay. So if it's about love, then I'm all for it. Got you. I don't have any uh, anything negative to say. So love and money. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That, that's it. That is it. Brother Joseph, if you left it to them, well, isn't everyone going to have their own definition of what they can or can't do? Does that make sense what I'm saying? No, it does. They got to set their own boundaries. You know, they got to deal with that when they time come. I hear you. So look, if Brother Joseph, you're saying that they have to set their own boundaries. Well, if a person is maybe sick or something like that, if you ask Jeffrey Dahmer, his boundary is different than another person who's not Jeffrey Dahmer. You understand? So the question is this. How do we set these boundaries if it's up to them? That's the way of the world right now. Everybody got their own decision, man. Got gotcha. you. They have their own beliefs, what they follow, and mm -hmm. that's their guidelines. Got gotcha. you. So you just think that everyone should be just left to do whatever they want to do? I'm not, I can't judge that. Uh-huh. I'm not the one to judge that. Got gotcha. you. What does spirituality mean in your own words? To knowing that you are the God. Okay. Then yourself. Okay. Love, higher self. Connected to the divine entity. I think I understand what you mean about the consciousness and the spirituality, yes. but we would refrain from calling ourselves gods because we believe there's only one true God. Yes, yes. The God of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and all the messengers of God. Correct. Peace be upon them. And the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, right. right? So we don't believe we're gods because, well, a God needs to have certain qualities, you know? Uh, a God shouldn't be, a, be created or a creation. The God needs to be the creator of all creation. Absolutely, and absolutely. If you were born and you came from a mom's tummy, like I have as well too. Well, how can a little baby child who suckles and you know who could get suffocated, who could uh, vomit and drown in his own vomit or needs or cries? How can they be a god? God should be self-sufficient. Okay, you get what okay I, mean? I get it. What you're saying is true, brother Joseph, that you leave everyone to do whatever they do. This is not judgment. You see, judgment is a, a word that people use to run away from the truth. This is not about judgment. You're going to get judged either way by the higher man above. You understand what I'm saying? Thing I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah, that, that, that's on them. That's they have to deal with that when their time comes. Got gotcha. you. No. Do you think though that you're adding to it by uh, selling and doing that for them? What do you mean? So oh. if you, yes. I'm just asking questions. I'm not judging you at all. I'm just wondering. I get, I get that part to it. You know the way the world is right now, bro. <laughs> Brother Joseph. You know. I hear you. You know, sometimes it's, money... It's, it's, a very, it's a very tough situation. It's very it is. It is. thin line. So. And I ask, I ask the Almighty to show us all right from right and wrong from wrong. God is not a man or a woman either. I, I agree with that. Yes. I agree with that. Genders and all these things have come from the creation, right? Yeah. Gender is a creation. God is the creator of all creation. So he does not have a gender of his own. That's a fact. Right. He's a, you could call it a light, a being, whatever it is. I agree Energy. with that. Yes, because when this body expires, yes. there is no gender. Uh -huh. There's no man. Your soul. It's your soul. Oh, no, that's it. Absolutely. Now, we believe that if there is a creator, it is his responsibility to teach you. 
You understand what I'm saying? Right. So he sends messengers to teach us. Right. Messengers' names you would have heard Jesus, peace be upon him, Moses, Abraham, Jonah, Jacob, a bunch of messengers, peace be upon them. Right. And then he sent the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be a confirmation of all the messages before. And he wanted to give a final revelation to mankind. My sister Mika, have you ever heard of the Quran? I have. What do you know about this book? Not much. Okay. I know it's connected to people who practice a uh, Muslim religion. Islam. Islam, yes. yes. The person who practices Islam is called a Muslim. Okay, yes. Okay. yes. My sister, I want to invite you to read more and study more because everything that you said is very nice, right. but it's coming from the creation. I want you to study what does the creator say about what happens to you next. Okay. Because I could sit here and tell you all you want, right. but when you caught, this is a translation in English, when you connect with that, it's going to be completely different. That is a fact. That is a sister, fact. Sir, God bless you. May the Almighty increase you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Oh, brother. It's clear that when you make money your lord, you lose your sense of morality. Unable to distinguish right from wrong because it's all about the cash. But we were curious, being that in the LGBT community, sexual diseases are at the highest in all areas. Even with this fact, this fitna continues to spread. So we found these two sisters and wanted to understand why they had such a strong allegiance to the gay community and wanted to explore their beliefs. Excuse me, quick question. What flag does that uh, represent exactly? Do you mind telling me about this? The bisexual flag. The bisexual mm -hmm. flag. So tell us more about that. It's more when you like a man and a woman at the same time. You don't you, pick whichever. You can choose anything you want. Is there a level for a person who doesn't want a man or woman or they want, I don't know, I heard like pansexual is also something. Yeah, but they're like two different things. What's the difference? Could you teach us? The difference is, is when a man and a woman well, when a person likes a man and a woman. Okay. But in pansexual means you like anything, which means transgender, okay. asexual, polysexual means you like anything for a pansexual. But, gotcha. But bisexual means you only like a man and a woman. Okay, so you're holding this bisexual flag, mm -hmm. correct? And uh, is this because you're in support of this? Is this how you identify? Tell us more. I identify as a bisexual. How long do you feel like you've been exploring with this to your life? And how old are you now if you don't want to ask? I am 19 years old. Okay. And I've been bisexual for a year now. Talk to me right now. Is this your first time coming to the Pride Parade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, do you identify as LGBTQ? No. You sure? No. No? No. 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 It's, it's valid out here. It's valid. Yeah. What about you, sister? Yes, yes, yes. You do? Yes. Okay, so where, where in this rainbow flag do you identify? Are you the yellow, the green? Like Where are you? Orange. Your or what does orange mean? Bisexual. Okay, uh, that means that you would be into men or into uh, women. Yes? yes. Okay, so how long have you been into that? Since I was born. What? Really? Yep. Since you were born. Yep. So when you were, since you were a child, this is the feeling that you have. Yep. Okay. Were you raised or grown around anyone who was also bisexual? Did you know anyone who was bisexual at a young age? Um. Yeah. Who? My brother's transgender. Uh, my sister's bisexual. Okay. My other sister's bisexual. Older or younger? Younger and older. Younger and older. Where do you fit? Are you middle? I'm in the middle. You're in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you, respectfully, you grew up with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So your experience to this is different compared to everyone else's. Yep. Because you grew up with it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. How did you realize that bisexual one year ago? Why not two? Or why not? You know, just wondering. Because I didn't think dating a girl was my cup of tea. But then when I found a girl that was like flirting with me, I didn't mind it. So then, mm. so then I was like, oh, okay, then I think I'm bisexual. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, what, were you raised upon any type of spirituality or religion growing up? I was Christian. You were Christian? Yeah. Uh, were or as in you still think you are? I think I'm somewhat in the middle because gotcha. mom is Christian. Gotcha. But I feel like being this doesn't mean you're Christian because gotcha. Christians are so against it. Okay. So I feel like I am and I'm not. By the way, we're not Christian. I'm, I'm asking questions for that reason, right? So question to you, my sister, is that if you're saying that, you know, Christianity is against something like this, why? Why are they against that? Because they think that God only created a man and a woman to be with only a man and a woman. Okay. But it's okay now to be with whatever. Okay. To be with whatever. But, but once upon a time, you didn't feel that way because uh, a year ago, right? Yes. Until, until a year ago. Yeah. So what changed in that year? When me and that, when me and the girl that I was talking about was flirting with me and I didn't uh -huh. mind it. Uh -huh. So it was okay with me. Just asking. I'm not, believe me, I'm just asking, okay? Wouldn't that be considered a form of grooming if she knew that you weren't? Um, no. Just wondering. No, because she was the person I'm talking about is a very like, like curious person and a kind person. If if I felt uncomfortable, I would have told her no, stop. Okay. So the thing is this: you didn't feel uncomfortable. No. So you didn't tell her. To feel no. Okay. So based upon that reasoning and logic, you've decided that you know what? I'm going to be uh, identifying as bisexual. Yeah. You believe love is love. 
Yes. Do, do y'all believe love is love, love too? Is that a, is it okay? okay? What does that mean? Can you define that for us? As we try to help our sisters with guidance, our brothers and sisters in Gaza need our help. With the blue flag people committing acts of the G word, we are raising money to provide hot meals to our Ummah in Gaza. For only $10, we can provide hot meals to all of our brothers and sisters struggling for food in Gaza. So please click the link below to donate whatever you can and let's save the Ummah together. Love is love. If somebody respects you, if somebody makes you feel worthy, worthy of yourself, more like adds on to your, you know, your your own self love and all of that, that's love. Okay, that's love. Well, how would you I would define love is love? Exactly how she said. I can't have said it any better. You could love. I couldn't, I couldn't even say it better than she. Oh, yeah? she, she oh perfect, perfect. So let me that connection with somebody. Y'all really connect. If y'all have the connection, that's all that matters. All that's I'm all that matters. For, I'm looking for loyalty. At the end of the day, loyalty. loyalty. It don't matter if it's a man or a woman. Loyalty. No, I. I, I, I <laughs> Women, definitely women, women. But why? Just women. But, but it's fluid, right? Isn't everything fluid? Yeah. yeah. It's fluid. So, man, woman? Uh, I don't know if I'm on that spectrum. Mm. Now, question is this. You said love is love. It doesn't matter as long no, I as you... support at the end of the day. Okay, hold on one second, right? That's before I, we get you a boyfriend today or something. I don't know, okay? But we're going to figure something out, okay? But <laughs> here's, the, here's the question, right? You said love is love, right? You said, And you guys are a lot of fun, by the way, okay? Now, here's the thing. You said love is love, and you define that as you can love whoever you want. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Okay, now, if love is love, tell me it's okay for a brother and a sister to be together. No, because that's a different type of love. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, tell me, tell me. There's relationship love and there's sibling love. There's family love and relationship love. You can't put the, you can't mix the two. It just don't, it just don't. Says who? Says me. But if love, but, 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 before I go to you, if you said love is love, y'all defined it. I got it on the live stream. Y'all defined love is love as anyone that you want. Did I use those words or did you? Yeah, I used it. Yeah, I used it. Okay. You said anyone that you want. So if a person decides that, hey, I want to love my sister today or my brother today, right? You're making a face. I agree with that. But the question is this. How can you say that's wrong, but you're right? It's not necessarily wrong. It's just not for me. I wouldn't do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're saying incest isn't wrong? I don't know. Do you feel like this person who was flirting with you or being romantic with you or whatever that might be, do you feel like... If that wasn't the case, then maybe you wouldn't be experiencing this right now. I mean, I feel like in the future I would have seen it more because this is my first time here. Uh huh. So I would have like tried to the first parade as well and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you from New York? Yeah. Okay, so why 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 now? Because of now that I'm a part of it, I feel like I should come. Ah, uh, now that you're a part of it, you feel like you gotta come and represent. Yeah. Okay, so before that, were you against this? No. Okay, but why didn't you come represent before? Because my mom. Uh, <laughs> my mom. What does your mom think and feel about you being by identified? No. She doesn't know. Uh, uh, I hope mom's not watching this right now. Okay, hold on. Okay, but how would she feel if she found out? She'd be so angry. Why? Because she's Christian. She's so against it. Okay, so let me ask you now, sister. Do you do you feel like uh, there, do you believe there is a creator? Yeah. A God. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like this creator has made it up for you that man you could choose a man or woman whatever you want? I feel like people make. Like people like put God in a specific like like rule. Okay. Because God invented us to do whatever. Is that the yeah, case? Like in my opinion, uh -huh. it's just like oh do whatever, and like it, it depends if you're a bad person or a good person. I'll put you where you belong. Okay. But I feel like God is okay with doing this because we're His people. Okay. So since God, let me just summarize. Tell me if I'm correct. Since you believe that God is our Creator, which I believe as well, of course, right? Uh, since he's created us and we are his creation, you believe that he would be okay with this because look, if he created man and woman, uh, who's to say man is with man or man, woman is a woman? You could switch it up, no problem. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so if there is a creator, right, and you put that upon him, the question would be this, where did you get the evidence or reading to believe what you believe? It's not that it's evidence, it just makes sense to me because okay. if, like, if he really was against all this, most of us would be in hell. Okay. Most of humankind would be in hell. Okay. But I feel like he wouldn't want that because okay. he he agrees with us. And mm. if, if someone was gay and if they're a nice person, just because they like their same gender, why should they go? To hell? Good question. So I want to I want to uh, give you a rebuttal to that. Okay. Now you said that if everybody, if God wanted to or didn't approve of this, everyone would be in hell. Well, think about this, my sister. Imagine if this was all a test from God. Imagine if your sexuality is also a test from God. Imagine all of this was, and 
God Almighty tested you through your desires. You see, just because I would identify or I believe I am a straight man because that's how the Almighty created me, that's also a test for me. Does that make sense? That doesn't mean I just go around having sex with anyone that I would want. Yeah. Because I'm a straight male, so I could just have with any female I want. No. We believe that our sexuality is also a test, right? So if the Almighty is testing you with your sexuality, He's testing to see whether you're going to follow your innermost desires. Like, hey, I, I don't mind it. Or are you going to put His desires above your own? Does that make sense? Yeah. From a different perspective, I'm yeah. going to no, no, right? Because you're free to feel to be whatever you like, right? I'm just giving you a new perspective, right? Because you're saying that, that we all would have been in hell by now. Well, my sister, if this is truly a test, if we view this as a test, well, then every teacher is quiet during the test, isn't it? Haven't you taken a test? You ask the teacher for help, they're like, sorry, I can't help you right now, right? You're being tested, right? So what if the Almighty is testing all of us right now? And he's testing to see who will do the right thing versus the wrong thing, right? It's wrong if, it, if you make it wrong. It, it, what are you doing so if it's wrong, incest? How are you loving your, how are you loving your, how, I'm saying they want to be in a relationship together. Oh, no, that's out. But, but, but wait, 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 hear that. I hear you. I agree with that. But my question is this. Based upon your definition, based upon your definition, it can't be wrong. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So me personally, if that's what you believe in, go for it. I don't, yeah, I mean, so, so that's not what I believe in, though. I mean, let's start there. No problem. No problem. Excuse me. Would you yes. date your daughter? Absolutely not. Okay. So why? Well, that's, that's you have to ask me why. why? Ah, that's the right question. Why? Because we believe that if you are a creation, and there's a creator, this creator has defined what you can or can't do. If my creator who made me a creation, they have the right to tell me if I can or can't do something. My creator has taught me that I am not allowed to do that. So I'm not going to do that. Now, there are some people who are sick and they are being tested. They're being tested. They have a sickness. They're being tested. Your sexuality is a test. So if a person is attracted to the same gender, that's a test for you. The creator who made you his creation is testing to see whether you're going to do this. What am I trying to say? Right, what are you trying to say? Who was going to speak over here first? Kids just say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We're saying that's wrong. We're saying that's wrong. Oh, oh, you're saying that's wrong. Of course. Oh, okay. Of course. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. A little too much, guys. A little too much. Thank you. Done. In the case of you know, man and man, woman and woman, if you if that's what you believe, if that's what you want to do, do that. I don't have no say in that. But when it comes to incest, if y'all from the same blood, you should not be touching each other. Okay. 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 Hold on one second. Okay. 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 Because why? Because y'all from the same. But someone could say that same argument about a man and a man being together. But, but, but they're not the same blood. But hold on, one second, one second. You believe that, that's though. I believe that. They're not from the same what they blood. believe. Okay, but this is the thing, right? You're saying because a man and a man can be together because that's that's what you do. You understand what I'm saying? If, you, if you're saying that, this is the point. This is the point. If you're saying your sexuality tells you to be with a man or be with a woman, you could be with both if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Well, then you're following your desire. You're not following what the Creator has given you. You understand? The Creator who made you and me, if y'all believe that or not, it's up to you. But we believe there's a Creator. I don't believe that I made myself. Do y'all believe that? No. Even your parents, they did the deed, but it was something else that happened in there. You understand? It wasn't up to you or me. So this Creator who made you, who gave me life, gave you life, has every right to tell you how He wants you to live this life. Do you feel like there is morality? What is your a stance on that? I feel like there is, okay. but I feel like there's still like nothing against it. Okay. Yeah. So who defines morality? Um, I feel like we do. Okay. We you, do. You, you believe? You believe that we define morality, yeah. right? But if we define morality, then it's based upon our desires. Mm -hmm. So what if someone desires morality to be with them having sex with an animal? Mm. It's okay. <laughs> right? But I'm not trying to get you. I'm just asking, right? Because if you're saying morality is based upon the creation and not the creator of that creation, then we're all free to choose to do whatever we want to do. Yeah. And if, like for example, this is my phone. When Apple made this phone, right? They gave me a user manual, correct? Yeah. Because they are allowed to tell me how they want me to use this phone. Yeah. Correct? If Apple made this phone, they have every right to tell you don't do this to it, don't do this to it, don't do this to it. Now, you don't have to listen, but if you do, it's gonna void the warranty. You understand what I'm saying? And you go to Apple, you'd be like, yo, genius smart. They'd be like, nah, 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 you did something to it. Uh -huh. You chose to do it. They have every right to say that, yo, you opened my stuff, the warranty is completely ruined. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Because the creator of this creation has the right to give us laws, rules, regulations, okay? If you and I believe that there is a creator, which I think we can agree, yeah. then this creator has every right to tell you what to do and not to do. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case then, right? Then everything that we're talking about morality, everything that we're talking about my sister, then if that's the case, we are all being tested. And if you leave morality up to you and me, we will all have our own definitions. So the creator gives us the law of morality of what is right from what is wrong. No, you don't have to follow it. You understand? It's up to you. That's the test. Are you going to obey the creator's morality definition? Because he only has a law. I agree with you. I don't believe you could tell me what to do. I don't believe I should be able to tell you what to do. I believe the creator of both of us has the right to tell us both what to do. Yeah. So look, if you want to follow and be with a man or be with a woman, if that's your, if that's your thing, like I agree with you, right? I can't tell you no but but we believe there is a right and there is a wrong because i gave you that incest example and i know it's a crude dirty example i get that i get that right but the reason i give you that example is because it's extreme 50 years ago 30 years ago 20 years ago this was extreme you understand being with a man openly is extreme being a woman and a woman is extreme but we're now in a time where it's normalized you understand what I'm saying? So what if in 50 years, 70 years, incest is normalized? Pedophilia is normalized. All right, and that's where we have to put our foot down. Uh -huh. No. Where do you put your foot down? Once we see it start happening. But why aren't you putting your foot down for this? Because um, oh, wait, there ain't nothing really wrong with this. You know what I mean? People probably been, this is my first time being here. And at first I was going to say no, but you know, a gay friend. Bless you, bless you. A gay friend of mine, he was like, Papa, I was like, I don't really know popped out it's cool vibes cool people okay be real okay you know so look I, look all i'm doing is i'm pushing your thinking if there is a creator this creator would not just let us go figure it out like you know like you know even when we have children we got to give them guidance if we are you want to consider us the children of god which we don't believe that but like imagine then it's up to him to give us that guidance right so he sends this guidance this is spreading because uh -huh. then this uh -huh. was big it is spreading. yeah yeah but it's spreading, it's spreading by design it's not spreading because of just, it's spreading because it just spreads like a, like a, like a bacteria or virus. It's spreading by being placed on the things. You understand what I'm saying? So if a person is choosing to be uh, identified as bisexual, homosexual, whatever, okay, that's your prerogative to do between you and God, right? That's between you and God. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I should not need to know what your sexuality is. Okay. Does that make sense? Because that's between you and God. If you're sincere about your sexuality, I don't need to know that. Neither do you need to know mine. We could assume whatever we want, but we don't We don't need to do that, right? But by us having the flags, we're now saying, ah, I identify as that, that is me. So now you have to come and support this. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I feel like most people just like express Tell me. it instead because people are too scared. Uh-huh. Because back then it was more like hatred uh -huh. about it. Uh -huh. I feel like if they were to like spread it around and do a whole parade about it, uh -huh. I feel like people would be more comfortable. Okay, can I ask you a question? Let's suppose we did a parade about pedophilia. Let's suppose. And everyone started supporting pedophilia. Everyone, right? Everyone is doing, and they're throwing parades for pedophilia. Does that make it right? No. Says who? 50 years from now. There's good vibes, there's good thinking, there's an incest parade. Yo, pull up. Hell no. Where do you draw? You say you draw the line, right? No, How do you decide that line? I'm about to tell you. Tell me, tell me. Because when they start getting published before the parade even happens, that's when we start shutting it down. Uh -huh. When we already start seeing it, uh -huh. it's like no. Okay. So, so okay, it's already came so far. It's not much that we could do as a community. Yeah. Uh -huh. People would see but this be, you know, as favorite is, so they was like, okay, this is normalized. But once they see incest, they're gonna say no. Uh huh. Like, people don't believe it. But do you think once upon a time people saw a man and a man being together and said no a long time ago or at least some time ago and a woman and a woman? Of course, of course, time, right? of course. Well, they made that normal. Yeah. So, but but incest is incest is, is different. But society says it's right. They're having a parade. Who are you to say that? You're a boomer. You're old. You know what? Back in the day, they never did. But let's fast forward 150 years from now, they're having an incest parade. Is that okay? No. But Only how can you say no? Because it's most of, it's mainly my opinion. Uh -huh. But I feel like if more people besides me were to group up and say it, uh -huh. and I feel like it must have been a bigger, a bigger, now, better thing. Now, my sister, look. Let's suppose the whole world is supporting pedophilia and incest. They've got everyone. We fast forward 150 years. They're all about that life. Pedophilia, incest, no problem. That's normal, right? It's morality. It's fine. And you were the only person on earth saying that is wrong. Yes? 
then it's wrong. It doesn't mean that because everyone is doing it, it's correct. We base our morality off of something greater than society. If society dictates pedophilia or incest, I'm giving you extremer examples, right? Because once upon a time, this was an extreme example. Now this is a normalized example. So if I were to give you an example of incest or pedophilia, I'm just giving you in the likeness of what this would have been years ago. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter if society agrees it's correct. Morality is not defined by what society believes because society will always flip-flop and change once upon a time morality was people in Nazi Germany killing people right right now morality is saying Israel can bomb Palestine who's to say you understand what I'm saying morality is not to people it's with the creator are you trying to say that like God don't let me or something because no I didn't what say you, that are you trying to say I didn't say that did I say that you absolutely said there's a right and absolutely. Wrong, but yes there is what right. you're trying to like I feel like what you're can I can I be straight with you then all uh, right no no pun intended yeah okay now here's the thing, my sister, okay? We do not, I'm not trying to catch you. I'm not trying to have one of those moments. I'm not trying to tell you that God doesn't love you. I am a nobody to tell you who God loves and doesn't love. But there are criteria for what makes you and allows you to enter into God's love and mercy, okay? For you, because that's what God's putting for you. But no. God loves me the same. No problem. I'm not about to, um, uh, no one's telling respectfully, you. we're gonna walk away because, yeah, Okay, that's fine. It's, it's, you're triggering me. Oh, I'm sorry if you feel not, triggered, my sister, but like I appreciate you guys. Like, Okay, so my sister, I want to leave you with a gift, okay? Can I have one over here, please, guys? My sister, what do you know about this book? Um, I don't know what this book is. This is the Quran. We believe this is the last and final testament sent to mankind, my sister. Uh, and we believe this was given to the last and final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was a messenger like Jesus, peace be upon him, like Moses, peace be upon him, like Abraham, peace be upon all of them, right? In this book, we believe is a direct verbatim word from God. We believe that, and there's very good reason for us, okay? We're not just believing it because we close our eyes and have faith. No, there's actual reasons to believe in that. So this is a gift from us to you. Uh, I ask the Almighty to bless you and guide you, and I ask the Almighty uh, to reward you for any time that you spent with me that was sincere, and I just appreciate your time and energy. Okay, thank, thank you. you. My sister, take care. It's clear that using parades and moments of celebrations has allowed the LGBT to disguise the evils of their movements, essentially, making it normalized making these youth conflicted in recognizing right from wrong in one example this sister has been nurtured through homosexuality my brother's transgender other sisters bisexual with close family members practicing these acts and raising her to believe that it's okay meanwhile a young girl is groomed into becoming bisexual abandoning her upbringing values family and her religion. All to join a movement that is designed to destroy the fabric of society. So being that America is supposed to be a Christian nation, I wanted to learn what role has the church been playing in all of this fitna. Peep the LGBT church, guys. The LGBT church is crazy. They have lost their way. Their dean is dying so bad. They don't care. They just want to make your money. You think they really care? Yo, yo, chat. You think they really care? They don't care about the LGBT, they want to make money. Church has lost so many of its followers, so many of its flock, its sheep, that Jesus couldn't bring them back. So you know what they did? They got the LGBTs, oh! So I found a church that supported gay pride. Gay flag in the church is crazy. This is what your dean has become? Okay guys, look, more church stuff over here. You could see just homosexuality has entered the dean. Aoud Billah, all Christians right now. Is it open, ma'am? You're a Christian, yes? Yeah. What are your thoughts on the church representing the pride flag? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, last year, a lady um, who belonged to the church tried to jump my soul. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I wanted to investigate on how this priest will use the Bible to justify the LGBT movement. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, question for you, is the church open or is it closed? Is it you're closing? Yes. When's the next time you have mass or anything like that? Uh, I think it's going to be tomorrow. Let, let me ask the Father. Please, can you find out? Sure. Can, can I just enjoy the AC? Yes. Could you shut the door? Okay, thank you. Hi, Father. Father, we wanted to. Can we come in? The AC's there. Thank you. Come on, guys. Father, how are you doing? My name is SQ. Good nice to, to meet you. SQ. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been the father over here for? Eight years. What, what are we doing? What's this for? This is a live stream. We're going around. We're just asking people. Uh, man. Okay. Oh, this okay. is my better side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every side is your good side, sir. Okay. This church was here before the Civil War. Gotcha. It was part of the Underground Railroad. Really? It's married more people than any church in the United States. Wow. Then it got famous in 1870 when it buried an actor where no other church would because acting was considered an immoral profession. Really? So then the actors adopted the church. Now, famous actors.
Edwin Booth, his brother killed Lincoln. Oh, wow. But he ch tried to give his acting career for charity to make up for his brother and, mm. and beloved after him. Oh, wow. So this is where all those... And you've been a father here for eight years? I've been a father for 40, but, but here. here for eight years. Where, where were you originally working or like taking care before of? Before that, Chicago, before that, Washington, D.C., and before that, a swamp in North Carolina. That was my next question. Is that where you're from, North Carolina? Yeah. I can hear a little bit no, in the you voice. You thought I was from Queens. Where <laughs> A funny guy. Okay. Now, look, we have to ask a question because, you know, we are Muslim, right? And we are people who believe in Jesus as well, too, as well. But we wanted to ask you a question. What attracted us was we seen the pride flags and everything like that. My question is, as you're seeing the church, you know, change over 40 years, what are some changes that you're noticing? We keep the traditions, mm -hmm. you know, the, of 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. But um, but also, we change, too. That's mm -hmm. all we just do. With We have women priests now that we okay. used to have. and. Mm -hmm. We realized that in the 2000 years ago, they didn't know about sexual orientation. And gotcha. So that to them, it's unnatural, but it's, it's some people have red eyes. I mean, blue eyes, some have brown eyes. It's just. So you think this as it would change society? We do. Some. Gotcha. I mean, we don't, we don't give up our basics. Uh huh. That makes sense. Now, here's my next question for you, sir. Father, of course. Um, so how do you, you know, handle or I guess deal with like the stories of Lot and all that? Because we have those also in our faith, right? He's a prophet, he's a messenger of God as well too. How do you like sort of, you know, balance that with what's happening with the changing times of the world? Well, I think in the in the Hebrew scriptures, mm -hmm. I have a very high view of them. It's not a direct window into the mind of God. It's a direct window into ancient people seeking the mind of God. Oh. So for instance, Saul was the mantle was taken away from Saul because he didn't do ethnic cleansing, because he didn't kill women, children, all the people. Okay. So it was, the, and the Bible says that the, Thank you for telling us. Yeah, yes. It was taken away from him, given to, to David. Well, I can't believe that would be really true. So we have to read the Bible mm -hmm. with high view, mm -hmm. not not disrespect it, baby. Understood. Literal. Understood. I hope that. So, you know, that does make sense. So when it comes to an example, and I know you have to go, we'll leave you in a second. We're just enjoying the AC, I'm not going to lie, right? Well, they just turn it off, but. No, it's okay. Uh, so as far as like, for example, Sodom and Gomorrah, that happened, but do we think that that doesn't apply to now, or how does that work? There are interpretations that, that, that we're not sure exactly the situation. Was it really homosexuality? Was it not hospitality? Mm -hmm. It was sad. He said, oh, take, the, take, the, take my daughters. Yes. Well, that's a horrible thing to say. Is it? Well, if, if and, prophet, and to yeah. my daughters instead, so that's just as horrible. Uh, so I don't under, you know, I understand. I understand. Treat that very uh, carefully. Uh -huh. Ancient scriptures yes. without, you know. You have to, you have to make sense of it. Yeah. So, and, and for us, because we as Muslims believe in the prophet Lot as well too, and, he, and the people had changed in towards homosexuality when he offered his daughters it was so that they can stop the immorality and he was giving from them it's actually a sign in islam of something very noble because instead of you doing something wrong take it from me like hey you don't have shoes take my shoes just don't walk around barefoot so instead of instead of you just like saying hey you know continue the homosexuality i'm gonna give you a solution not just stop that and no solution stop it please take my daughters if you have to but please stop what that action is Father, Father, you've been... Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't like, yeah, okay. like... Well, it's just that maybe... Yeah, it's, it's it was like to, uh, to get them married. Yes. Look, Father, but you've been a lot you. of fun. You've been no, a lot of fun. Thank you. you. Thank you for yeah. allowing us. The hospitality is fantastic. Thank you. I feel blessed. Wow. I feel blessed. Yeah? You feel blessed? Yes. You feel blessed? Guys, I feel blessed. Well, guys, Good. alhamdulillah. Good. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Alhamdulillah, guys. Alhamdulillah, for some. Say alhamdulillah right now. Wallahi, wallahi, guys, you have no idea how blessed we are to know and have the guidance of Islam. You literally have no idea how blessed we are. Literally. You know what I mean? Like, you could have been like one of these kuffar over here, not knowing right from right, wrong from wrong. This man has a bisexual flag. Look at these guys, bro. May Allah guide them. May Allah guide them. A'udhu Billah. How are you? Good. Yeah? yeah? Are you a Muslim? No. Why not? Because um, I wasn't born Muslim. Well, what if I were to tell you, my friend, that you were born a Muslim, but it's the nurture of your family who changed your religion. Do you know what it means to be a Muslim? Um, no. It means someone who submits and surrenders their will to God. My brother, this is for you. Okay. It's a gift for us to you. Okay. Right? Okay. It's in English, it's a translation of the Quran. The Quran is actually preserved in the Arabic original language of Revelation, but it's just a translation. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. My guy. Okay. A man who wants to be with a man, yeah, it's yeah. a desire. A woman who wants yeah. to be a woman is a desire, you feel me? And your morality is based upon your feelings. Today you feel like it, tomorrow you don't. And that way you will never find the truth. Yeah, makes sense. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Brother Lemus, I want to leave you. You got you. But I want to give oh, you. Oh, you get you gave me it? That's you. The Quran, yes, yes! Thank I'm good enough, my brother, all you. In Islam, we are taught to hate the sin and not the sinner. We believe that with love, patience, and du'as, Allah can open any of their hearts, guiding them to the straight path. So let's never stop helping them. Also, click the link below to help our ummah in Gaza. Because for only $10, you can provide a hot meal. And until next time, I'm out. They know.